Hello YouTube. So today I've decided that I'm going to try and go through all of my um, iron hands, let you have a look at which squads are which. Um, this is the first squad, which is um, my HQ squad from my first company that I've done. Uh, this is a Forge World Legion Praetor. Just a basic model, nothing special done to it. Painted up in the iron hands colour scheme. Usual damage on the shoulders. Uh, company markings, I believe I've made this the 12th company of the um, Virgin clan. If this is going to want to focus, there we go. So that's the Legion Praetor. This guy is your basic master of the chapter. I think it's the master of fleet. Um, all I've done is add a Mark IV helmet and a plume from, I believe, it's Secret Weapon Miniatures. So this is just the um, the one with the hammer. I think I've chopped off the shoulder pad. What was um, what was on there? Simple conversion for him. Now this guy, this guy is going to be a um, one of the Centurion um, Tech Marines, whatever they call them. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, with this guy. I it's one of the ones from um, Games Workshop's direct only models. Um, I've added a breach of shield, which I got a FIBA. I've swapped the arms over, so he's got the axe in his right hand. Added a, a bionic arm to there. I also chopped off the flamer and added a combi melter to there because I wanted him to have a combi melter. Again, painted up the Iron Hand scheme. Uh, we have this guy, which is one of the, um, I think it's one of the Games Day models. Um, it was a sergeant, but I thought, well, it just screams out. Iron Hand screams out pre-heresy, so I've painted him up. I've given him a bionic arm and basically left the rest as it is. We have one of the Forge World event only models, which I just had to include. Um, this guy comes with a big shield. Uh, you get the choice of either a combi weapon, a combi melter, or a, I believe it's a, a thunder hammer to go in there. I figured the combi melter was more fitting with the squad because there are more of a shooty squad than a close combat squad. We have the Forge World Mark IV standard bearer. I do like this model, although I am now looking at the Mark 3s and thinking, hmm, I may need to include a command squad with them in. Uh, the banner itself, I've added some purity seals. Now they were green stuff cast, I believe. Uh, just to add some honours to the, to the banner. I've added these after the first game we played. Idea being, every game we play, I'm going to add something different to the banners in the, the, the companies just to make them that little bit different and I've got your apothecary now with the apothecary I decided to paint half of his armour white to differentiate him from the other apothecaries I've got I also added a um, green stuff gun blast uh, it's one of the Forge World Mark for apothecaries I do like these models they are really nice the, um, the apothecaries and we also have two basic marines. Now these have, the, I believe they're called turges from Anvil Industries. And I've added some green, green stuff blasts to these guns as well. These are just basic Mark four marines. And um, this guy's got binary calm. We've got Mark three shoulder pads just to make them look that little bit different. And this guy, just the same. Mark three shoulder pads, surges from Anvil Industries, uh, Gun Blast. There we go. So that is my first command squad. I will be back very shortly with another video, and this will be, well, whatever I pull out my case next. Okay, thanks for watching. Back soon.